Welcome to another great episode here at the Pastor's Pantry Cooking School. I'm your host, Chef Sam Peters. We're making a really, really easy dessert. This is something you can make. Doesn't take a lot of time. Now we're cooking it for 20, so there's a lot to you know to cook, but there's not a lot of effort involved in it. We are doing our cinnamon raisin baked apples. Well, before I get into that, let me share with you, as we do every episode, the gospel of good taste. There's two things Joyce and I are very passionate about. The first is we believe that everything is about stewardship. James 1.17 says that every good and perfect gift is given to us by God. And food's no different. Food is a wonderful gift that we've been given. And we want to try to teach you some things today on our show that will help you make every dining experience great at your house. The second thing we're passionate about is community. We believe that because Jesus believes that. He was passionate about community. He was constantly sitting out eating with people. In fact, we believe that food is a great metaphor for community. So we want to try to teach you some things in this episode that will help when people gather around your table again, that will make it a sacred place and a sacred time. Well, let's get into these apples. Uh, Joyce is helping me out with some of this. She's filming today. Say hey. Hi. Joyce, why don't you tell us what's in that? All right, we're making it for 20 again. So we've got 10 Granny Smith apples, six tablespoons of brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, 10 tablespoons of butter, just cut into pieces, one cup of raisins, and then we're going to top all these with some caramel topping at the end. All right, so can you want to use a nice firm baking apple? We like using uh, the Granny Smiths for something like that. And that's typically what you're going to have anytime you're doing baked apples. Or you're going to want a nice firm apple. Um, as much as I, I love things like Honey Crisps and Fujis and things like that, they get really soft and mushy when you bake them. So a Granny Smith works a bit better. Um, so we're got this shot going straight I down, right? It. Okay. No, I got it right here. Right here. Okay. Either way. So we're just going to half the apple and see if you're really good grasshopper. You can cut You'll the cut stem the in stem half. in half. <laughs> okay, so we got it cut in half. We're just using a melon baller. You can use a tablespoon. Okay, we're just using a melon baller. We want to go ahead and core the apple. Just get all the seed out of there. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and. Just dip these, the outsides of these, in a little bit of lemon juice. That's going to keep those from turning brown. Now the core area is still going to turn brown because I didn't get any in there. But that's okay. We're going to put butter and stuff in there. So we have both of those coated quite nicely. I'm going to try and squeeze these in here, Joyce. I don't know if I can get them in here, but I think we do. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get this out of my way. Because now we want to top these with our butter and raisins. All right. So all we're doing is taking a piece of butter and putting that down in the core. It's going to make a great little caramel sauce with raisins in here. Okay. Put our butter in there. Now we probably want this butter still fairly chilled. You don't want it too soft, but you also don't want it frozen like a brick either. You'll never be able to get it in there. And we'll straighten up all these apples before they go in the oven so they're not tipped and they're fairly level. Yeah. But we got some stuff we got to do to them first. I do. So I got to get that butter in there first. And then I'm going to cram some raisins down on top of that into the butter. So then I just want to go ahead and put a few raisins in each little core. Just cram them down in there. Now what they're going to do is they're going to soften and actually plump up a little bit from the juice of the apple and the butter. They're super good this way. Again, we'll try to straighten these out before I put them in the oven, but right now I'm just trying to cram these raisins into the butter. Well, and what we did with the pan too is I melted some butter in the bottom of it so they don't stick. You could also spray it with a non-cook, uh, non-stick cooking spray. Um, I don't like to use sprays very much, so whenever I can, I just use butter. We like butter. Butter good. All right, 
just continuing to pack these as full as I can with raisins. Should I add some of these down ahead? That's okay. All right, I can fast forward through some of this stuff. That's okay. We keep what works. Okay, I want to try to get these all nice and level because I'm getting ready to put our cinnamon sugar mixture on here. So now we want to go ahead and get our, we just put our cinnamon sugar in here mixed together. So brown sugar and cinnamon. Yep. Get a nice dessert for you to make, a little something different. You know, we don't, I don't think we do desserts enough for dinner anymore. Do you agree with that, Joyce? I agree. I think we're all so busy in our lives that we don't, we're not being good stewards of our food if we don't use it properly and cook it properly. And I'm okay with just eating dessert for dinner. Yeah, there you go. So make this as, as your dinner. How bad can it be? It's an apple and some raisins. That's right. It's probably one of the basic food groups. That's right. right. Get your daily fruit in. Some of these can get a little bit more. All right, that looks pretty good, Joyce. I'm going to go with that. All right, so we've got all of our cinnamon sugar mixture on top of this. What we're going to do is we're going to cover this with foil. We're going to put it in. Uh, what, 375? 375, 375 degree, degree oven. oven for about 25 minutes with foil over the top. And then we're going to take it out, uncover it, and let it cook for about another 20 minutes uh, just until they're nice and tender inside. We'll show you what that looks like uh, on the back side. All right, our apples have come out of the oven. They look delicious. Got a wonderful little caramel sauce in the middle of each one with the raisins. And then we're going to top that with some caramel sauce for the final plating. It's going to be yummy.